So this morning we're turning our gaze to the stars and learning how you can do the same thing thanks to a local group that's making astronomy fun, accessible. And you know what's even better? Hands on, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous right there? So we have some special guests out here on the patio with us. We have Stuart, we have Mark as well with the Arizona Astronomical Society. This is a really cool group that you were telling me started years ago and you guys are like have like 160 people now? Correct, you're right. We started in 1948 at Phoenix College and now we hang our hat at the Paradise Valley Community College where we have a lot of our events. We have a monthly lecture series, we have telescope workshops on that facility. And then we go to star parties and star parties are, we take telescopes, 10, 15, 20 telescopes to a dark sky area and then we invite our members and members of the public to attend and they can look at the sky. We not only look at the sky with our eyes but we even use binoculars and we use telescopes, which is what we have in front of us right now. And so, Mark, this is your telescope, and this <laughs> this is made in Arizona, but this thing is impressive. Yeah, so this is made, uh, you can see Lunt Solar Systems here. It's made right in Tucson, and it's a really unique kind of a design because it can be used to look at almost anything in the sky. It's got special modules that allow you to safely look at the sun without damaging your eyes. But you can also take these modules off and then use it to look at the moon, to look at planets, to look at galaxies, nebulas. You can take this out to a dark site and you can see some of the example kinds of images that you can take yeah. with this telescope. And it's uh, really a very remarkable, adaptable, universal instrument. And you're saying that Arizona has some of the best dark sky communities out there. It's yes. Some of the best, I guess, gazing that you have. For astronomy, Arizona's ideal. We have the highest number of clear nights of any state. We have the highest number of certified dark sky sites of any state mm -hmm. and the highest number of observatories of any state. Wow. Which, so, which means, therefore, we take our members to these sites. We arrange trips for our members. We went to Lowell Observatory a couple months ago. Fantastic trip. Mark, you had a couple other trips that are lined up for us. Yeah, uh, we have we're going to Kitt Peak in November, Kitt Peak uh, National Observatory and the Karis Mirror Lab in Tucson. And then in the spring, we'll go to Mount Graham and see the big binocular telescope that's there. So how does this play into, I guess, life and, and just discovering those things that are in space? For many of our members, I think it humbles all of us to have to look up and say, hey, you know, I'm a part of this. This is our sky and learn what's going on through lecture series, NASA people. As I mentioned, Mark is a NASA ambassador. When we get those people coming in to share with us what's going on up there, we can appreciate more of what we're looking at. So you have 160 members, what's the age group? I mean, this looks very advanced, but what if somebody is in advance and they're just, you know, they just like to look up and they're, they're interested in astronomy? Sure, well we start obviously not knowing anything about this, all of us do, yeah. and we have young folks, we have middle-aged people. Um, you can use, as Stu said, simple binoculars, but a lot of the star parties that we run, so once a month typically at Apache Wash, we'll have members bring telescopes out, mm -hmm. the public can join us for free, and so if you have an interest in astronomy but no equipment, that's fine. Come on out, you can look at different telescopes, you can see which ones might appeal to you or not appeal to you, learn why people bought a certain model versus a different model, so you get education for free as well. A beginning one, how, I mean, obviously this one looks very expensive, but like a beginning one, what are they Are they very expensive? So, so you, can get, you can get a telescope, good telescope for $80. It's a desktop telescope. It's a little modular thing, but average price for a starter telescope can run anywhere from four to $600. But we would warn everybody at home, right, Mark? Yeah. If you're going to buy a telescope, do not go to your local department store Macy's or any other type of department store, no pun intended with Macy's, but they just don't sell the quality that you're going to need. You'll be more frustrated if you buy from a department store. How yeah. am I doing? Yeah, exactly. There are specialty stores that deal only in astronomy gear, and that's where you need to go to get this kind of product. So if somebody is interested, they're at home, they're like, you know what, I want to go out. I, I want to go to one of these star mm. parties. So what do they need to do? They need to go online, and I think we might have a font for this, to... There we go. These are events that are coming up. And there you go. Our, our PASAZ.org. You go to that website, www.PASAZ.org. You will see these events listed for the entire year. You can plan your visits with us for the entire year ahead. Oh, there you go. Okay. It sounds fun. I mean, and look at that. You get to see some of those unique things. 
Thanks, guys. Thanks, gentlemen, for coming in, talking with us. Thank you very much. Yeah. So uh, from here to the skies, J. 